Hi guys, welcome to Pixel Affair. It's Kobe here. So today's video is actually something I find interesting about Simaphody's um, cloth system, which is I think particle based, right? And during my exploring and um, experimenting with stuff, I actually find something interesting. I think I want to put it out there. But if you know, I've already shown that in Cinema 4D, you can actually, um, especially Cinema 4D, let me be specific. Cinema 4D 2023.1, I think, upwards, you can actually apply the Cinema 4D cloth tag to a matrix object, right? So if I come into my matrix and I right click, I can simply apply um, Cinema 4D's cloth tag to the matrix and it should actually work right you see it's falling because of gravity if i actually hit control d i actually have a tutorial on this and let's take off the gravity and if i put something like say turbulence right you can see um the turbulence starts affecting it let's increase it a bit and it will actually I work on them and you can see it's affecting the matrix this is something i've done a quick uh, tutorial on here on youtube you can check it out like the full one but another thing that i've also realized works is that if i come in here and i create let's say a plane right and let's change the display to garage shading with lines so we can see the segments right and let's increase the segment to something like maybe 20 because like i'm recording i can't push the simulation because of my machine so like i give this segment and right click simulation tags and apply a cloth tag hit play you can see gravity affected so it falls so let's take off the gravity control d to bring project settings and come to the scene and uh, simulation scene tab and set it to zero so there's no gravity right so now the cloth tag this is a cloth object right and the cloth tag everything is working now let's actually come to simulation and add a turbulence um, force to it and if we hit play um, let's increase our turbulence to something like 30 and maybe increase the scale so if you hit play you can see it's affecting our plane like it would do to any cloth object but one thing i realized like i said is come into my MoGraph menu and if i apply poly effects make it a child of the plane and select the poly effects and reduce the come to the transfer tab reduce the size of the poly effects the scale to points this is 0 0.9 0 0.9 0 0.9 right and hit play can see now it's affecting each and every individual separately as if there were some object or particles on their own right and i, th I found this very interesting and it works with every all this uh, cloth stuff so let me select let's add a, a bit of segments let's make it 30 um, by 30. it works with everything that um works with the cloth tag so for instance i can add that um let's say a thorus to it let's make it maybe smaller a bit all right and um change the orientation and now if we right click simulation and add a collider hit play um in fact let's first of all reduce the turbulence that's hard yeah it's still going out and one thing like i also is because like i said it works it almost every parameter so in the mix animation you can actually um come to the mix animation and see with pins check it and i can see it that it, nothing is happening that's because now it recognized the plane as it is right so let's reduce the influence of the um pins and now if we hit play you can see it's pushing it but it's not going way too far from it like we in, initially it, like it was doing so basically uh, it works everything works right let's select the turbulence and also increase the scale a bit so you can see it's moving it out and now if i select the torus because there's the cloth collider on it I actually can collide with them you can see it's colliding with them like you collide with any other object so i find this very interesting and i decided to quickly put this out i mean actually see a very use, yeah, nice use case so in this i actually created this simple scene where i had a lot of um, polygons and i baked it into alembic and i then cloned the matrices on it to get all of these um, particles right so another thing is for instance let me actually um delete 
the in fact let me delete just the plane and maybe the terse and let's create so you can actually apply this technique to something like a logo or something so I, let me actually create a text object here and i'll just leave it as text let's middle it um and now let's add some segments to it so i'll come to the caps and i'll say change the type to a uh, regular grid and maybe set this one to like c5 or 4 and maybe let's set it to 5 so that the segment doesn't um you know slow my machine down and let's add a bit of subdivision here and also come down to the intermediate points and set it to subdivide right so we have enough segments in there and you can simply go ahead apply a poly effects to it and you can see it's breaking them into individual polygons right click and say simulation cloud tag to the text and now if you hit play you can see everything goes crazy and the reason why it's happening to the text is it's very important is that you can see every if i select the cloth tag and come to the surface tab in here you can see the thickness of the cloth um is set to 1.5 and that's basically i think a radius of 1.5 around every point or so so it means like the radio the points are basically colliding right so that's why it's exploding so for it not to explode you have to reduce the thickness to something like say 0 0.1 it was actually 0 points this 0 0.01 will be fine and now you can see it's, it doesn't explode so the turbulence take over let me check off the turbulence and if i hit play you can see everything stays still and now if i enable our turbulence hit play you can see now the turbulence is the one taking over so this one can actually be interesting and can be used in some situations so for instance let's take off uh, the table or before the tablands let's actually add field so with the tablands let's go in and add a linear field and let's make it a little bit smaller so if i hit play right you can see it's falling uh, it's actually getting a crease so it can start from here and whilst it's going now the tablands can come and start dismantling our text right and I've, I have a couple of tutorials that teaches this um, t technique in similar s um, several ways, right? And this one too can also work, right? So you can see it's dismantling our text. I feel this is really, really interesting. And another thing is that all the techniques that I've shown that you can use those techniques to dismantle text and stuff. One advantage this one has is that this one actually collides with objects. So for instance, let me add something like say gravity in here and you can see if i hit play it falls so let's apply the um, uh, effect uh, field to the gravity so i select the gravity fields and i'll drag in the linear field and now you can, if i hit play you can see it's falling only where the gravity has affected it but one thing is that this one can collide with objects so if i create like let's say a plane let me move it down make it a bit big and right click and say simulation and add cloth and um, collider tag to it and now if i hit play right you can see it doesn't you know it actually collides with the plane so let me select it once again um linear field and let's move it right so you can see it's falling and it's actually colliding with the plane so this is the advantage this one has over the other techniques that you can use to uh, this integrate text and all of that to get it to render and um, particles all we have to do is to simply um, come into our mode graph and create a matrix object and change come to the object tab change the mode from grid to object and the object you want to clone on is basically the text but if you clone directly on the text let me show it will not work right so we have to put it in a connect object so i'll create a connect object and i'll put the text in the connect object and now i'll put the connect object rather in there matrix um, object field and i can see it's cloning on the surface of our text but we want it on each polygon so i'll select i'll come down here to the distribution i'll set it to polygon center and you can see every polygon now has um a matrix let's reduce the size of the matrix to like say 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 and now you can see we have a um, matrix in the center of every polygon so now if i go back and let me hit bring this one here and hit play you can see if i start moving it 
it's falling and it's the matrices are following. So that's basically how you actually render using um, particles. So if it's like you're using direct cinema 4D, you can simply even use clones and directly clone on them or use redshift, right click and apply the redshift object tag. And now you can apply the kind of object or particles you want to use. And that's how you basically get to render it. Or if you like, you can render it directly with the polygons if that's what you want as well. Um, I hope this was useful. And like I said, if there's any com anything, you can put it in the comment section or in the, uh, send me a DM in my Instagram. And I'll, if I can, I'll reply. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.